Hey guys, right now I'm doing a quick review on my Glock 26. I've had this gun for about a month, month and a half now, and um, I really like it. I bought it primarily as a uh, concealed carry um, gun. Uh, I just wanted something that's going to be not excessively small and puny, but uh, also not large. Just wanted a, a good all-around uh, general gun that I can conceal carry and uh, also um, shoot at the range without having to uh, deal with some serious uh, recoil like a smaller pocket gun. So uh, this is just a great option if you're looking for uh, a concealed carry gun that's also good for plinking and uh, just general uh, shooting. So first let's just run over some of the specifications. Um, obviously this is the Glock 26 which means it's the 9mm um, subcompact. It's 9x19 9mm Luger. Um, the length of the, the slide is 160mm or 6.29 inches. The height of the gun, the overall height, is um, 106 millimeters or 4.17 inches and then the width is going to be 1.18 inches and the barrel height is um, 1.26 inches it's got a 5.67 inch line of sight so that'd be from the back sides to the front post it's 5.67 inches the barrel is three, almost three and a half. It's 3.46 inches. It's got a uh, unloaded weight, and um, I failed to mention this has been uh, safety checked and is unloaded. I'm not going to do that on camera, but just letting you know. It's got a uh, unloaded weight of 560 grams or 19.75 ounces, and loaded it's 740 grams. Um, are 26.10 ounces roughly um, depending on the ammo you're loading it's going to be a little bit different weight um, the magazine capacity is one thing I really like about this gun I live in New York so you can only have 10 round mags anyways but it's nice to have such a small gun that uh, is capable of carrying 10 rounds a lot of subcompact guns uh, don't have double stack magazines like this, so this is a double stack 10 rounder, so it's 10 plus 1. Um, you have one in the chamber, so that's really nice. And this will also work uh, with, um, you know, like the Glock, I believe the Glock 17 and um, any of the other uh, 9mm Glocks should work. I mean, I'm not sure if there, there may be some differences, but as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, um, most of the Glock magazines are interchangeable. Um, there may be a little bit of a difference with the subcompact, but I'm pretty sure it can take the, uh, the full-size Glock mags with no problem. Um, so that's one thing I like, the uh, magazine capacity. The trigger pull is five and a half pounds stock um, with a half inch travel, but that's one of the things I've actually done to this gun, as a lot of people have done. I you know, gave it a little trigger job um, this Ghost Ink uh, trigger kit I picked up at one of my uh, local gun stores. This is the Rocket Glock trigger. This is the kit. This is not the uh, the drop-in. Um, this is not the drop-in kit where you can just you know take out the the, uh, the the trigger control bar and uh, put in the new one. This is actually uh, a whole kit that comes with the the Glock um, pin push or pin punch. Then it also comes with some replacement springs. It comes with a, a replacement main spring for the the firing pin or striker. It comes with a couple other. This is a uh, this little spring is a um, uh, striker safety spring. And then there is a uh, a trigger spring replacement that I have replaced. The other two springs I haven't replaced because when I, what I found is um, when I replaced this striker spring this is a uh, the one that comes with this kit is a lighter 
spring so that's supposed to make the uh, the trigger pull just a little bit lighter but I found that it actually wasn't hitting the uh, the primer hard enough with the ammo I was using to make it uh, fire so I'd have to uh, pull twice it was, it was doing some pretty light uh, um, hits so uh, I pulled out that and put the stock one back in and it seems to be alright now so uh, basically with, with this kit you have to file down the, the travel stop on the bar until it uh, will fire properly until the trigger will pull so uh, it takes some time it took me a couple hours um, I ran into some issues but I mean it wasn't that hard um, if you do do this I do recommend you uh, look on YouTube for some videos installation videos and even those weren't that sufficient because I they weren't that helpful honestly but um, I also seen on the uh, the Ghost Inc website they have some really detailed instructions that I didn't really uh, notice at the time so I would definitely recommend checking those out if you're gonna do this but uh, so my trigger is extremely light um, see nothing in there it's a very light trigger pull and I love it it's probably only a couple pounds supposed to be three and a half but I imagine it's somewhere around there um, it just makes the trigger that much easier and uh, get more consistency on your trigger pull so that's one thing I definitely would recommend doing um, it just makes the gun that much more enjoyable to shoot they don't recommend it for uh, concealed carry um, because obviously if you're ever in a self-defense situation, you're going to want to have a little bit uh, more stout trigger pull because you don't want a premature firing or anything like that. Um, and that's one thing with this trigger, it does it uh, it doesn't take that much. Once you get here, it breaks pretty soon, and um, it's definitely an improvement for if you're going to do a lot of you know the target shooting, plinking. It's definitely good for that. Um, I still do carry this gun. Um, I'm not going to ever have to run out of that issue. Just keep your finger off the trigger until you decide that you need to shoot. So that'll avoid the uh, the premature firing issue. Now, one of the uh, things I really like about the Glocks is the uh, the ease of disassembly. You know, basically you just um, pull down on these two pins here and uh, pull the trigger and the slide will come right off and uh, it's just that simple and then uh, to get the barrel out pull out the spring and then you got your barrel everything's just so simple um, to uh, maintain to clean just very easy to uh, take apart so long as you're not doing it on camera makes it a little bit more difficult and there you go reassembled it's just a great gun overall I really like it um, I'd recommend it to anybody looking for a, a nice compact carry gun that's also going to be a, a good shooter this has uh, minimal recoil because it's got such a, a stout and heavy slide and um, it's just a real nice gun I, you know, overall as a general purpose type gun and uh, I'm really happy with my purchase I picked this up at Gander Mountain it was actually uh, on sale it was $4.99 real good price and um, I am very happy with it so I just also want to show you uh, what I'm using currently for my holster options my uh, main holster here is the Blackhawk Serpa CQC um, holster. This is a hip holster. It's a concealment holster, but uh, it does ride on the hip, and it's form fitted for the Glock 26. I believe also the Glock 27, and I really like. It's got a retention clip here, um, so it, it doesn't come out unless you push down on that little uh, clip that locks the trigger guard, and slides right out 
Also, for a inside the waistband band holster, I got this Uncle Mike's size 12. You just slide this into this like so, and then this will clip into the uh, inside of your, your pant or shorts, whatever. And uh, this is also a, a very comfortable setup. Cheap also. We were selling about 15 bucks. The uh, Black Hawk, I think, was about 50. So, and they're both really good options. I recommend you get both or something like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel for some future reviews. Thanks for watching.